So we with our enough self, Ron Ganga had a pig ears. See the ears there, my people? The chef came out laughing as well because he knew it was going to be a joke thing. Let me try one. I'm scared, you know, Nicole, you're afraid? It's a cup one too. It's a cup one and Nicole, I'm going to eat at the same time. Nicole looks so <laughs> it tastes burns. I don't get a but you get a barbecue taste yet? Why did he say this is the best thing? I want it. This is the best thing. Is that the apron? Maybe I'm confused about. We're not wanting both in the car. Why are you wanting both in? Yeah, it's not just about them. Someone's eating. <laughs> Guys, we tried big ears today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jada. So from the title, you can already tell what the video is going to be about. And I'm literally starting as the video starts. Let me kind of correct that color a bit because it should look a bit pinker. That looks a bit more like me, a bit more chocolatey. So yeah, I'm doing my makeup now. I'm going out for brunch. I'm going out with Nicole and I just wanted to get ready um, on camera with you guys to just do a quick chit chat because we haven't caught up in a while and I just feel like there's just so much to talk about like with all my vlogging, YouTube content. Girl, it's just a lot like it's just a lot. Going to Jamaica, British citizenship, like we haven't done a question and answer on the channel oh, we have done we haven't done a question and answer on the channel i don't think so i think we have but not like a dedicated video so this will be a dedicated video i'll show you guys on instagram so now i'm just going through them to see what you guys wanted me to talk about okay somebody wants to know if i'm able to travel more freely now that i have got my british citizenship the answer is yes yes and yes um my trip returning back to the uk from jamaica is definitely one of the most seamless trips i've had i didn't have to go through immigration so it was just instant clearance with the uk passports they have a chip on the back of the passport so that basically means that when you're going through clearance or immigration you literally just scan your passport and it scans your eyes and you walk in and just takes your bi biometrics whereas before you know the jamaican passport they're gonna ask you where you live which part of your work how much time you come out of the uk just one bag of all and pull and also when i normally travel like on my girl's trip i would always be like the other one out like my friends would go ahead go clear the bags and then they'll just have me one in the back trying to find out what hotel am i going to stay um how much spending money you have just all kind of bag and pan girl because i don't know i don't know why but it just take a whole lot of hassling out of it so i'm so grateful to the queen thank you i'm now a british citizen life is just a lot easier also apart from traveling oh let me see what else the person said that's just travel let me go through the questions because it's quite a few I would love you to follow up with citizenship and what life is like once you've had it. Is thing have has if things change what am I gonna like type sometime you know? Has things changed much? What is easier and where can you travel more freely? So you can definitely travel to a lot more places more freely. So in Europe, usually with my Jamaican passport, I always have to get a Schengen visa. If you guys would like me to do more like travel content specific on like visas, types of visas that you can get to the Jamaican passport, where you can travel to visa free, stuff like that, let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to. That's actually my bag, like a little stuff like that. Um, and I want more Jamaicans to be more exposed because I feel like as a nation, like, we don't really travel much, is me? So, no need for exposing yourself, man. For say more out there. Don't know, just there, yeah, I don't like Caribbean. So, yeah, traveling is a lot easier because it doesn't require a visa anymore. And you know that vis visa, you need your money. Every time I would go, I was going to Europe, I would have to budget at least 60 to 120 pounds for my visa application fee. And then remember that the visa isn't even guaranteed either. 
because they can actually return your passport to you after your flight that has happened to me already or they can just deny you i've never been denied but i know people that have been and you don't get your money back it's not a nice feeling and you know it's just it just take a lot out of you whereas now girl i just book and go i need for go i need to actually go europe on the book but i'm in a no rush in this panoramic because life's serious so yeah things are a lot easier also when it comes to job applications that would be a lot easier this time around or any kind of like application when it comes to the government or the state of the country so if i needed funding it would be a lot easier because now i'm a citizen so going to university wouldn't be an issue because i'm a resident and a citizen of the country i can now get a loan to go to uni i am now qualified for benefits not that i wasn't qualified before but once you have the book like people just stop asking questions you know you don't really have to prove yourself because you just have the book before if i needed anything like if i'm enrolling in a new school you have to give them proof of it i mean usually Mm, like that's not a bad example for example if i am yes if i am about to change my role and i need to go for the pre-employment checks one of um i look for the brush then i need the concealer now i'm gonna have no bag of time for the video and i'm gonna wrap this up in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna know where me up skip and jump all over the house let me unturn but my spirit just feel mad, feel mad calm today. Like, I'm in a no rush, you know, the world. I'm a cool calm, so she only for me. So, okay, but this is time to make up. Anywho, guys, so yeah, so like, my prior, when I was not a British citizen, and I was just a Jamaican citizen, if I'm going for a new job, you would have to prove that you're a resident of the country, and then you also have to do additional stuff, like, you have to prove how long you've been a resident, you have to make sure that you basically just have a track record of your stay in the uk you have to have a track record of all of your travel stuff girl it just take a lot of stress off of my brain i'm just a tongue judge of feet i'm not like make my life easier i feel like a lot more opportunities can open up for me now in terms of even relocation i can relocate to europe and it wouldn't be a big hassle as opposed to if i wasn't a british citizen you know what i mean like life just sweeter girl so that's that and then also you guys wanted to do let me see what else let me see if there's any more questions like that okay so somebody sent in some business questions i'm not quite sure what business you guys are asking me about or what it's my property business or my fitness business or the um vendor list that we have on sale i don't know but the first question is have i ever oh how how you saved the first question is how did i save to invest in myself and have i ever considered an investor how did i save to invest in myself when i was young i had multiple side hustles and this is not even some i mean i'm proud but it's not something that i promote heavily because knowing the long run my burnt out my tired my kind of just over it all i'm gonna wish for people work as hard as i did but you know because your circumstances just have to do what you have to do so Personally for me, I had to have multiple side jobs to actually afford the life that I wanted in the long run And obviously I knew that the only way I'm going to get that lifestyle or one of the avenues of getting that lifestyle is through multiple streams of income So from early on out Maybe just you know start with the Maybe never really waste no time. Maybe just every time I have a look at extra money I just put it put it down extra money put it down I'm gonna spend money for a full finish I'm gonna have no bag a bag of design at them time day no bag a bag even though I have no bag a bag of designer because in my head when I look at the designer bag them I say five of them bag here could I be one house deposit you understand what I say two of them bag here could I buy my one car I'm gonna just walk with it from my shoulder so I ain't on the house in the car come on young girls not for wise up so that's how I um, started to invest in myself and also apart from me actually having side hustles and saving and reinvesting that back I also was always proactive whenever I had a new job so the minute I come into the job I would let the managers know that look I am looking forward to doing this and this and this course please can we have a um, performance development review every three months or six months just to make sure that the company and the department objectives are being met and also i am having some form of personal development i find that with traditional jobs sometimes once you get the job you kind of just stay in it 
you don't really elevate and if even if you do elevate you don't really go the extra mile to actually um educate yourself and that's something that i've been adamant adamant what is my what is my language doing that is something that i've been adamant i can't speak you know so i'm gonna start trying the big word there. that is something that i've been very stronghold on sorry guys brain i really work like that um that's something that i took seriously and another question is the importance of registering your business it is very important because for one it sets you up for better accounting in the long run that's whether you have a small business um a large uh medium scale business whatever size business it is you must still try to at least work towards getting it registered i completely understand that not everybody when they just start out they can actually afford to pay registration fee and you know to do the bookkeepings that is appropriate and all of that kind of stuff not only that it puts you in a better opportunity to also ask for funding and for example in this pandemic when um the government was giving out loans to small businesses a lot of the businesses wasn't able to actually attain those loans why because they weren't legally registered so hairdressing nail shop all of those kind of um services when they get registered man as young people because in the long run trust me it's not gonna nice because one thing this comp this 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 country is good at doing is their tax keeping so one day it's gonna catch up on you and not just this country overall just government facilities it will catch up on you maybe not today maybe not in 10 years but baby when them do knock on your door you have to go pay them bill so the sooner you do it the sooner you can actually get better at doing it doing it and if you aren't confident in doing it remember that people actually have services where they sell these kind of stuff they register your business for you do all kind of accounting bookkeeping but you just have to be professional and you actually have to be mentally ready for um do all of them something they trust me business not as business is not a better road it's as all oh, everybody make it seem honestly to god it's not a walk in the park my love not a park you want to walk in every day not a bed of roses but i would highly encourage you guys to register because you can get funding too you can have better bookkeeping free you can also have a track record of paying taxes so that means that you can actually have the potential of applying for better loans as in business loan so you know say a business loan i go be business loan business credit business everything they have your personal when everything in your personal if you have a bad credit that's gonna be your personal credit if you have a bad business credit it not necessarily gonna be a reflection of you like indefinitely it's gonna show you own the business or you're the director but it now gonna be a a derica have a bad credit no one of derica businesses have a bad credit something like that so you want to set up yourself and make sure so your finances them not all over the place and apart from that you actually pay the right type of taxes because the more you earn your tax code change like it's a whole other segment that girl money for do a whole video on that but trust me girl just register your business man i like yeah nice piece of mine and plus it just give the business a lot more professional um ism people can actually look up your company name look up your company number uh you can reach out to magazines you can start reach out to actual professional and I say you can't do that before still, but as I say, it just make it a lot easier. Even with the invoices, it make it a lot easier because you know your company number go just depend on everything. It just makes sense. I don't know how to explain it right now because like I said, it's a chit chat I'm trying to do. Not a full on business consultation. So that's what I would say. How do I pay myself? I can't speak on that because I'm not the best person my money habits is a reflection of my mental state and my emotional state if i'm being completely honest and that's when i'm on a break like no i'm not buying a house i'm do not all major like that so i kind of dip on a break so i can brave if more i'm brave i can save if more i save when i did i save up for the house no girl you know you can't eat no you can't pay yourself because also for buy that's all me think of it business is not supposed to be like that supposed to be a PSL person in the business da, 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 da. but when you alone stand up and you alone know how the business and the business feel like a baby my love 
you're probably gonna pay yourself and just invest, 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 invest. And then you know, so at the end of the three years, you just take a, a long holiday in love and you just get all your benefits. So I would even advise you enough on that, but just tell you how my brain work when it comes to that. How do you reinvest back in your girl? You come with a good question, Demina. How do you reinvest back into your business? So you can do this in multiple ways. You can reinvest back into your business by getting a excellent team, somebody that knows your product or not even a product, someone that knows the services as best or even better than you are. I think a lot of young entrepreneurs every three months or six months or sometimes our egos get the better of us. So you know why nobody else do this because they can't do it like you. And that's the whole point. You're supposed to have different people who add different qualities to the business, you understand? So I would say building a strong foundation for your team and your staffing. That's how you can reinvest. Also, you can also have annual, not maybe every year, but every now and again, you can also update your media site. So you can update your Instagram um, profile with a photo shoot. That's how you can invest back. Those same shots you can use and update the website. You can do a full branding revamp. That's how you reinvest. You can also reinvest by doing more virtual shows or even um, physical shows. So you can do pop-up shops. That's another reinvestment um, because you, you attract a different audience in that space. You can also reinvest by going to a lot of farmers markets or like startup. I don't know how to explain it, but you know those startup um, ex expo expo oh my god guys when i was growing up my auntie used to always take me to expos i want to do a pop-up shop you know but let me not talk too much but yeah you can go to stuff like that expos stuff like that is it will always come back to you because the clientele that you're going to make there and also the information that you're going to learn the knowledge that you're going to share i promise you money will be the least of your worries once them something they start come true so that's how you can reinvest into your business how i reinvest is in very different ways sometimes i just reinvest by actually investing in me and sometimes investing in me is taking a trip like going on holiday because my brain get full rework and i get inspired and then i come back and then it's like okay i know exactly what direction i want to take the brand so you have to find out where your brand need and where you need for actually make the brand grow but those are just a few examples but that's a really good question that was from ashley my babes that's a really good question my battery is dying guys i'm just doing my foundation now i'm using i'm using a darker one because i'm still tanned this is 364 so i'm just using the darkest shade that i have and i stopped using the nair because as much as how i love the nair finishing i just feel like nah it makes me look a bit whitish so i'm just waiting for my tan to go not white but you know what i mean when i look chocolatey i'm gonna look gray so when my time goes, then I'll go back to near or I just mix it for the now. I love how this mist on my face. Oh, beautiful. Let me go wet my beauty blender and come back. Okay, guys, I'm back now. Hey. I hope you guys are liking this angle. I'm not really fond of it, but it will work because I'm actually in a rush. I need to leave within nine minutes. Or else I'm going to be late and I don't want to be late. So um, let me hurry up. Um, somebody asked me what was it like visiting Jamaica in a pandemic is it the same with the lockdown no it's not the same and I actually spoke to Sasha Antonia by the way she's another Jamaican British content creator she does fantastic content I do content with her every now and again and she was telling me that Jamaica actually isn't the same as to how we last saw it before the pandemic because the island just has a lot of tension and i completely understood once i arrived it took me like probably three days to a week for really understand how the curfew work because the miss and not only the, the miscommunication was a lot from the government officials as in different people saying different things and then it was kind of like ad hoc so it's like one week the curfew 7 p.m another week it's 8 p.m so you have to literally always be on the media or be informed to kind of know what's going on it's not like a standard structured thing so it was very difficult maneuvering that and also it's always the rush so like you guys could see um whenever i was doing my businesses it took me quite a while because the lines are long 
and yes jamaica usually always have long lines but my god now it is actually disgusting because everybody is now having to cram a four day or a five day work week into three days or two days even because the country is on lockdown and then when you're supposed to be doing your errands on saturday and sunday the island's on lockdown so when the place come out of lockdown on like tuesday or wednesday now everybody's busy trying to catch up for everything that they didn't get to do and remember jamaica business places <sighs> everybody could say them time so i don't know it rough for them don't they honestly my heart goes out to everybody in lockdown right now and everyone that's struggling with their mental health because the way we're living it's not normal to live like this but it kind of just is what it is for the now but i promise we'll make it through guys we have been i mean we're still here so we're making it through but it's rough man but man like when you go visit jamaica like as a tourist it's different to live in there so even me i tell on this now this is not even the true reflection of it because i was in a hotel people that actually have businesses that actually have to stop on mondays and you know mondays and i'm alone you make your most money or you do your banking or you do your you know you get for the look errands them them people they had them i feel it and them for come tell you how oh, oh, jamaica stay me can only tell you not fractionate because me go as a tourist so it's different for me very different so i didn't even get the chance to see a lot of people because everybody did just you know i tried to what they need for do would they look a bit of time when the country actually open in a nice man but i not lie i prefer to be with jamaica than staying at the uk and my daft i not lie to another to the honest truth kind of the uk get very depressing i don't know if i saw me in the ear i just don't know what it is but over here saw me in the ear master to make people just a mad off mad off so so i'm gonna pick jamaica any day even with all of that when we are going still not left out my yard oh the lighting is changing guys that's why i'm it's getting darker and i don't want to take out the ring light let me just hurry up and blend this put on the powder and then go i need to go because the camera don't bugger 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 I'm not even press out my pants, I know. I never press out my pants. I don't look at press out what time now. Let me see how long is my journey again, maps. Let me see what time the train will come. Because I don't want to get My face blend out nice though. I should look at that to the truth. I'm going to turn it this way. Ish, wait, this way. This way, face is blend nice, people. I just a light in and change room. I just put on a contour and then go. I'm going to take a nap. No, just some contour, some powder, and then I need that. So I'm going to spray this so that you can go and set. Somebody said, What are your thoughts on long distance relationship? As long as I keep them distance away from me, I'm not going to have no thoughts. I draw. My, 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 my thoughts is that it can work if both parties are committed and both parties are put on, put in um, the right amount of effort and also there is a clear plan as to what is expected of each other and there has to be some point where the distance ends so that's enough to agree upon and then work towards it I don't think it's impossible we clearly see long distance relationship that work out we see ones that don't work out so that those are my thoughts on them that's it i look to see if one else go there Somebody said, do you have any home updates? You guys haven't been posting on living with LJ. I don't have the mental capacity for so much people. I'm say, a human and not a damn octopus. That was a bit rude. But I'm just saying, guys, I'm only one person. So I'm just doing what I can while I can. <gasps> the one I'm about to dash away. Jojo. 
Oh, let me put a little bit for a bit of contour and then that's it. Come on, Lurica, you need to leave out in two minutes and you still don't account for your face. Come on, Didi. You might go feel the one, yeah. Um, do 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 do. I'm kind of surprised how it's getting so bleaky already, though, because I really wanted to wear a sleeveless top. So, what's that about? Do you want children? At this stage in my life, at 24 years old, I can say that I'm honestly stuck between the two. I can see myself with a beautiful, loving, loving family, but because I don't have a man, it's like, I can't picture it right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't picture it right now with me. But then I can if I can. Mm. I don't know that's my answer I don't know yeah that's my answer I don't know I don't know I don't know you guys are probably so confused right now because in my last get to know me I was like in five years I want to be married in this girl bye <laughs> I really want to kick I see you right now to earth I run ready me for just thank God to me all I am still there kicking you because this life not easy people so kids and stuff like that that not really up on the front part of my brain man i said i don't want a community i don't want my own family but right now while i'm in my 20s i'm not fixated for say yeah i have to figure out if i want to pity right now but yes or no i don't have to figure it out now the same way someone in the 11th grade and i never know what subject i want to do i just see me i don't know what if i want to catch a child or not and even if i say yes i want one you're going to give me one if I said no, I don't want one. You're gonna ask me why I don't want one because it's my budget and I don't want one. You see me? Like, them questions are just. Uh. But my myself, so I'm just curious still about. I don't know, guys. Like, my body, I'm alive, I'm a brain, ever changing. And right now, I'm just gonna make it cut and go through. I now I really pressure myself to figure everything out because i don't think you ever truly figure everything out because you're not god you're not gonna ever know it all you're not gonna ever really know what i go on so i'm just gonna take it in other seasons right now the season is i don't know sometimes it's completely fine to not know because we're supposed to know girl you know what that number knows i'm gonna put another little nose ring for cute up the face look a bit more like caution and go out with much this cute derica you're nice this nice guys, simple and nice, cute and so look a lip gloss, not so much. Guys, the pain that I have in my heart from not finding my chest not honestly. Matt, can you guys sponsor me by the way? Can you guys ever see this please? Anyways guys, I'm gonna do my edges, put on my clothes and then I'm going to leave the rest of the questions for another one. And then we can just pick up where we left off. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me guys know your comments below and everything that I said. As always, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I welcome everybody that's new. Thank you guys so much for joining my journey. My Jamaicans, I love you guys so much. You guys always support me. And yeah, let me go get ready quickly and then I'll check you guys back in a minute. Cause it's her birthday and i've been there multiple times so if you look for my name you can see my name on your seat
if you want to be in camera, so I'll just show myself. We got some drinks. Um, you want to be in camera? I don't know. Um, we got some drinks. I've got this white wine. I've got, I didn't actually order this porn, this mark, this porn star. It's pissing me off. I wanted to get another white wine, but I just because he's a black man, I don't want to let him send it back because you know they love to pick on black people. You know what I mean, Nicole? I don't want to let him come back with it. We look bad. And then Nicole got another drink as well. Let me show them your drink. This is the view. Let me show you guys the pig ears. <laughs> it tastes burns. I don't get it, but you get a barbecue taste here? Why did he say this is the best thing? I want it. This is the best thing? Is that the acorn? Maybe I'm confused about it. But no one thing about it, Nicole. Why are you thinking about it? Yeah, you can't think about them. So I'm going to eat it. Guys, we tried big ears today. I don't know how I feel. It's too crispy for me. I don't feel like there's any meat in it. Oh, the pig ears. You only live once so far. The seasoning is actually nice. But it's dry. So you just feel like you had chew. I don't know you had chew, but you're not chewing meat. So the pig ears are better? Nicola, this is funny, Nicola. Why is we not talk about something though? I love the seasoning, but I don't like the ears. I don't like the ears. Why the ears taste like this? It dry. It not have no meat to it. I just like it had chew up bone. with season. Nicole, you don't enjoy it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's kind of got a bacon. Kind of got a bacony taste. Like it's frying a bacon oil. This one. Crispy. Yeah, these are pig ears. Barbecue crispy pig ears. I wouldn't recommend them, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Cause I keep going back, <laughs> but honestly, the season bangs, but everything else is so no. 